I'm always ready to take on a new platformer, and I just got done doing that with Splasher that's now available on console, but is this game a refreshing take on the platform genre, or is it all washed up? Splasher is a fast-paced platformer with a lot of precision needed in order to make it through each level. The game was designed by one of the main designers for the recent Rayman games. In the game, you take the role of a young hero who's trying to save his fellow employees, known as Splashers, from an evil doctor who's experimenting on them and turning them into monsters. The game features 22 different levels. There's a hub area that connects each of the levels, and you unlock new stages by collecting a certain number of the Splashers in each stage. The platforming in the game, though, is really fun. Like I mentioned, it's fast-paced, and the character does take a little bit to get used to their weight and the momentum of their jumps, but once you get the hang of it, there's a lot of fun to be had. The main gimmick of the game, as to be expected with a title like Splasher, involves water and liquid. You have just plain water, which can be used to defeat certain enemies, as well as clean surfaces of the other liquids, as well as the reddish-pink liquid, which basically is a sticky substance that will attach you to walls, ceilings, or even slow down enemies, and then the yellow liquid, which, anytime you make contact with it, ends up causing you to bounce, and the same goes for enemies that end up making contact with it as well. And the game does a good job in its level design using this water mechanic to its fullest. But while you're also trying to survive through the levels, you need to keep an eye out for your fellow employees. There's seven of them in each stage that spell out the word splash with an exclamation point at the end. Some of these are going to be located in these little vortexes you can go in, and basically you have to defeat all the enemies or solve a little bit of a platforming puzzle in order to free that employee, and then you'll go back to the main level. There's checkpoints scattered all throughout the stages, and thankfully, once you've already freed a guy, if you hit a checkpoint, it will end up saving that progress. But if you save one after a checkpoint and die, you will have to regather that employee. There's also the main form of collectible, this yellow liquid that you basically find, and there's at least 700 of it in each stage, and you need to get at least that amount in order to free the final employee at the end of each level. There's also time trials for each individual stage, as well as full-blown speedruns you can do. One where it's just you trying to get through the levels as quick as possible, and another one where you're trying to do 100%, collect all 154 Splash employees while also completing each stage the fastest possible. From the technical side of things, though the game ran smoothly, I didn't run into any major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Splasher is available now on the PS4 for $14.99, and it does have a platinum trophy. The game is also available on PC, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Overall, Splasher is easily one of the funnest 2D platformers I've played in the last few months. The fast-paced action and the whole water mechanic, especially when you get the ability to use the liquids yourself and you have to quickly switch between them as you're going through levels, really ends up adding to the intensity and overall enjoyment for the game. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Splasher an 8 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.